Today we're going to show you the differences in deposition rates between processes and types of electrodes. So we're going to start off the demonstration using some 70S6 wire gas tungsten arc welding, some 7018 eighth inch diameter in the shield of metal arc welding process, 045 70S6, and then we have here some Select 730 from Select Arc in the 045 diameter. And basically what we're going to do is run some tests uh, in 30 second intervals, run some welds. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll set up with uh, gas tungsten arc welding first. All right, so we're going to be using the ESOB Rebel 285. Uh, we're going to go ahead and select the gas tungsten arc welding option, or in this case, lift TIG or lift arc. And I've uh, done a couple practice welds, so I know that you know for eighth inch or uh, eighth inch diameter electrode and quarter inch plate, I like it around 175 amps. So we're going to go ahead and set that. So we're ready to weld. We're going to use. We're going to do a 30-second uh, time span weld uh, using gas tungsten arc welding process. All right. So Man Cub's going to set a timer for 30 seconds. Uh, he's going to start it as soon as I initiate the arc. We're going to weld for that time period, and then once we get done, we're going to measure the weld. I'm sure you guys never anticipated TIG to be the fastest process. Uh, TIG is good for overall weld appearance and good penetration profile, uh, especially on thinner materials, more you know, fine work. All right, so we just finished up the TIG welding right. portion, and within the 30 second time span, uh, we were able to make an inch and seven eighths weld. Uh, it's about a 3 16 fillet weld, inch and seven eighths long. Uh, so now we're going to go on to the 7018 shield of metal arc welding test, same time span, 30 seconds, and let's see what we can do. All right, we're using an eighth inch, uh, eighth inch diameter electrode, so 125 amps is about a good place to start. All right, so you can see already, we're traveling much faster, depositing a lot more fillet metal than we did with the TIG welding process. So it looks like we got an additional inch on this one, right at three inches. All right, so with the shield of metal arc welding, we got a little bit more uh, filler metal put down. We, we gained uh, about a sixteenth of an inch on leg size. So we're now up to a quarter inch from the, uh, the gas tungsten, which was three sixteenths. Now we're gonna switch over to a 70S6 on gas metal arc welding, solid wire. Uh, I'm gonna run about 250 inches a minute and 18.5 volts. a lot faster now with gas metal. I like to put a little bit of oscillation in there, not technically a weave, just a little bit of movement to help with the tie-ins and the wetting of the toes. All right, so gas metal, we're right about five inches. So about a quarter inch fillet weld size. Uh, so about the same as shield of metal arc welding. More deposition than the shield metal arc welding and a lot more deposition than the TIG welding. All right, now we're gonna run some gas shielded flux core. And this is the first time I'm running the select arc wire. So uh, we're gonna go off the manufacturer's recommended settings. Uh, so that was 26.5 volts and 450 inches per minute on the wire feed speed. Man Cub, you got the timer? Yes, sir. All right, we're ready to go. All right, so with the Select Arc 730, we got seven, seven and one eighth inches of weld. And I gotta tell you, when I was under the hood welding this stuff, I thought I was gonna have some wormhole porosity, 
I uh, thought I might have to go back and adjust the settings, but uh, it actually turned out really nice. As you can see, there's no wormhole porosity whatsoever, smooth tie-in at the toes. Now for that demonstration, we went ahead and we used exactly what Select Arc sent us, told us what to use. So now we're going to crank this stuff up and see what we can really get out of the wire. All right, so we increased it about two volts and 50 inches a minute on the wire feed speed. Still running pretty smooth. Nice wetting of the toes. Nice feed profile. Good slag coverage. Six and an eighth inch. So as far as the uh, the deposition rate and speed, it actually runs a little bit better under the uh, manufacturer specs. So it's probably best just to stick with what they tell you. All right, guys. Well, I hope you found that as fun and entertaining as I did. Uh, make sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube. Click that subscribe button down below and give us a like. And until next time, make every weld better than your last. Hey guys, welcome back to HelpMeWeld.com. Remember, if you want to be featured. Go ahead and post up in our Facebook group or use hashtag helpmeweld.com on Instagram. Okay, so we'll dive right in. Today's submission is from Patrick Jennings and he used Instagram using the hashtag helpmeweld.com and posted a photo of his welds. Patrick, it looks like you're doing pretty decent. Um, I'm guessing you're doing gas metal arc welding. You said you got this in the 3F position, so we're going vertical. Uh, it looks like your weave is pretty decent. Uh, I'm not a big fan of weaves. I mean, we could start a whole debate on that, weaves versus stringers. Uh, we can talk politics next. <laughs> um, I would say that your weave is excessively wide. So I would narrow that down. I mean, you probably have uh, enough space in there where you could put two weaves in there versus the one, you know, excessively wide one. What's happening is you're getting cold lap in there. So as you're going back and forth, you're just kind of building metal up on top of metal. You're not really penetrating. So as you go from one side to the next, you're just laying more filler metal right over top of that previous area. Whereas you kind of want to punch in tie in and get better penetration in that area. So I would go ahead, I mean, it looks like you've got the technique down. Your welds look relatively decent. I mean, you got some spatter on there. Uh, I mean, that could just be a couple uh, adjustments in your settings or your contact tip to work distance. You could um, probably increase your, your wire feed speed up just a little bit or add a little bit more voltage. Just kind of toy around with those. And then uh, watch your contact tip to work distance should be about three eighths to a half inch. But like I said, cut that cut that weave right in half, uh, use that same area and you know put two smaller weaves in there and I think you pretty much got it man so good luck. Alright guys so that concludes this segment of HelpMeWeld.com make sure to post up in the Facebook group as well as on Instagram using hashtag HelpMeWeld.com also if you guys sign up for the Facebook group make sure to answer the questions and agree to the rules that way we can let you into the group. So until next time make every weld better than your last. <laughs>